the worst thing you've done to your ex? Honestly, the worst thing that I've ever done in a relationship was cheat, you know? But it's because I'm trying to, like, match the energy. I've got the phone. I have screen recordings. But I believe in karma. You feel like you got your karma back for cheating on him? No, I regret it. I regret it. Because now I can't say, honestly, that I've never cheated. And I hate that. Do you guys remember a couple of videos ago? I was watching a clip and the person asked, What do you think people who are cheating are thinking about in the moment while they're cheating. And one of the responses I gave was that they're serving their partner's karma. But I do respect the fact that she regrets it. I don't think cheating solves anything. It's a lot of dudes out here that's defending cheating, whether you're a man or a woman. They say, cheating looks different for a man than it does for a woman. I understand the point that they're trying to make, but let's be honest, cheating is wrong. <laughs> Point that camera at me one more time. I'm calling the cops. Call the cops. For sexual harassment. Okay. Can we please do away with women weaponizing the police? Um, police. Asian shit got the hell on. It's an apartment. It's Asian. Yes. It's on the first floor. She's serious. Correct. Um, there is um, a housemate who sexually harassed me previously and who's now pointing a camera at me at close proximity and making me feel better. Oh, I'm trying to use my stuff. Wait, what? Yes. Yes. I know you guys can't read the message. The person who posted the video basically said that the two roommates got into it over some pots and pans. My guess is that she was acting ridiculous, so the guy pulled his camera out. In a fit of embarrassment, she decided to weaponize the police by making false accusations. Most police officers, when they're coming, the moment they hear some type of sexual harassment, some type of domestic abuse, the man in the situation is automatically guilty until proven innocent. I can give you an example of that. A boy who was on the phone with me, when he was married, him and his wife got into it. His wife pepper sprayed him. Pepper sprayed him for no reason, bro. He ended up calling the police. When the police came to the house, he was automatically the suspect until he had to explain the situation and say, yo, I was the one that called y'all. And then they backed down. With that being said, I feel as though false accusations need to be punishable with jail time because people will keep doing it. They know that the system is automatically on their side. And I don't think that's fair. It's hard too. So then you won't, be, you won't be unfamiliar with having these cars running from you all the time then. Okay, I'm military, so what does that have to do with me? Okay, that's even fine. You're military? Yes. I, I expect you have a better attitude. I do. Do you understand why you came up to my fucking car, dog? You okay, turn it. off the car. And give it to you. That's okay, all I said. okay. Did you just say you don't want to you to go back and walk? The Dude, there's no reason for you to act like that. I'm going to you five percent. Please give, please. Okay, you're going to sue. Two, give me an assumption ticket then. Consider yourself warned. Next time, I suggest you unbrack that mouth and uninstall it completely. It's completely illegal. Are you still active? Are you? What branch are you in? Army. Army. Okay. So, do you still report to somebody? Okay, I got a lot of friends in okay. the army, so I, I'll reach out to them. Okay. Free to go. Please do. Oh, he's pulled off. I hear that engine. That's that V8 engine. Boy got a charger. Oh, reach out to friends. Oh, they gonna do to me? I got this dude. He's 
in the army. Da -da 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 -da. I know I have a lot of police officers that are subscribed to the channel. How do y'all feel about that? He just threatened this man. Threatened this man's livelihood. Now, I know there's a certain level of force that you guys have to use, whether it be your voice. You know, you have to give commands. But think about it this way. I'm a grown-ass man, especially if I'm innocent, and you barking orders at me. Think about that. I'm not one of them idiots that's going to come out and say, oh, defund the police, defund the police. I think that is the most idiotic statement. That is the most idiotic movement that anybody has ever came up with. But I will say this. Some of these officers don't need to be officers. Some of these officers are bitch made. Wouldn't bust a grape in a food fight. Hiding behind the badge. Taking out their insecurities on the public. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. Shane different type load into me. See, this is what all guys should be striving for. Find yourself a woman who just act in the middle of Walmart or wherever you are. It's just you'll you'll never get tired of that. No. Ugh. I just got chills. No. <laughs> Damn. No. No 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 no. Hold on. Let me tell you something. This is all fine and dandy until you around her with other guys and her flirtatious personality start taking over. I'm, I'm telling you right now, females like this have very flirtatious personalities and sometimes they don't even know they're doing it. And now you in a situation where a complete stranger might think that he has an opportunity to take your girl. If you can't control your urges, I don't want you. You can't be my girl. We can, we, you know, we can get it popping. I ain't saying, you know what I'm saying? We can we can do what it do. But when it comes to me taking you serious, you cannot be my girl. Do not strive for this to be your girlfriend. She can be an experience. I'm five months pregnant inside of Walmart at the self-checkout line. As a customer, not an employee. I'm ringing up all of my items and I finally get to the end and somebody taps on my shoulder after I pay. And I turn around and say, can you come with me please? I just want to say this. I've always hated the self-checkout line. When I was in college and they first started bringing them in, every store they would have one. So they had all the cashiers and then they would have one self-checkout machine. I remember my stepmother saying that this is going to take people's jobs one day. 10, 12 years later, you have more self-checkout lines than you actually have cashiers. So of course I proceed to gather all of my stuff and put it in the buggy and they're just like, no, don't worry about it. Just come with us. Now I feel like I'm doing a walk of shame because I don't think I've done anything wrong, but everybody's looking at me as I'm escorted to their office. So I finally get into their office and I say, what is this about? And they're just like, you didn't ring up all of your items. And I'm like, what did not ring up? As soon as I asked this question, there was a knock on the door and a policeman walks in. Now at this point, imagine I'm hysterical. The officer says, ma'am, do you know what you've been called in here for? And I said, no. They told me I didn't scan everything, but you walked in as soon as they were about to didn't scan. I'm literally going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this officer because I'm certain that I've scanned everything that was in my buggy. But apparently, the only thing that was not scanned was the prenatals. So I said, officer, look, I'm visibly pregnant. I'm five months pregnant. I actually came in here for prenatals. I didn't scan them and obviously had no idea of it. Can I just pay for them now? Mm -hmm. They tell me no and that they want to do a police report. Mm -hmm. So at five months, you can already imagine my hormones were raging. So I just went the f off. As you should. It's not even my job to make sure everything scans. You got people around here just staring at me. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't you out scan it? Open up some registers like I'm just going mm -hmm. ham. I told the officer, out of the 25 items that I scanned, you, they watched me not, not scan the prenatals and wait until I was all the way done to pull me into the office. Like, mm -hmm. you could have said something then. Mm -hmm. I started pulling everything out of my ass. The corporate manager to Walmart. I can get all y'all jobs. Fuck this. Just, mm. I'm a veteran. How you going to detain a five-month pregnant veteran for something that y'all could have avoided? So the office is like, look, I can I can tell you're upset. It is an honest mistake. This is what we're gonna do. I got banned. And I still couldn't leave with my prenatals. And just like anybody do when they leave the facility, they're just like, I'm never coming back here. I'm telling everybody about mm -hmm. it. They don't care. So I politely escorted out of Walmart. Mm -hmm. And even though they only gave me a 30-day penalty or whatever, I took 60 days. 
Like, bro, these jobs and these self checkout mm -hmm. lines, I understand that it's a little bit more convenient no. because down on the man power. No. But if you're going to be doing stuff like this for people who are not trained to do your job, then y'all need to get some people on them registered. Let me tell y'all something. I hate using the self checkout line. One, it's taking people jobs. But two, the fact that you got a motherfucker standing over my shoulder like I'm some kind of thief. Motherfucker standing there watching you scan everything with the serious face. Bro, what? Sometimes I do be wanting to just take some shit just because, bro, because I don't like the way that shit make me feel. But yeah, they need to get rid of that self-checkout shit. High school kids could have these jobs. When I first went to college, a lot of the freshmen used to work at Walmart. A lot of the freshmen used to work at Publix and Kroger. These was jobs motherfuckers used to hold down. Now, who doing the job? Nobody. The self checkout line i'm not a fan of that dog then the other day i, I seen some driving down the street look like it was finna deliver some pizza they got freaking self-driving pizza delivery cars now i go to walk to my boyfriend's room as i'm opening the door this girl opens the door she looks like she had just seen a ghost terror the terror on this poor girl's face and then shortly after her this drunk man like fumbles out of the room and i'm thinking like what the hell so i walk in <laughs> and all of a sudden this smell this smelly smell that smells <laughs> yeah just wafts oh, from the God. bed area so i turn on the light and sure as <laughs> no pun intended there is a stain it was like smeared you <laughs> wow. it's so foul dude on the bed on my boyfriend's bed <laughs> the bed that i'm supposed to sleep in that night um there's a skid mark <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it smelled really bad. I never had this when I was in college. I was that type of roommate. You weren't allowed in my room. If we had parties, keep your guests outside. At that time too, like I never smoked weed or anything like that. I sold it, but I never smoked it. So when my roommates used to have their company over and they used to break down the guts for the, for the blunts and they would leave it just laying around. I was coming out there knocking on doors. Hey, yo, who's rolling the blunt out there? Yeah, y'all got to clean that up. If the people weren't there, yo, you had guests in here? Yo, you got to clean up after your guests, dog. Like, I was that type of roommate. So, if that particular situation happened to me, yeah, somebody's catching these hands. I guarantee you somebody's catching these hands. Secondly, I have had some stale tilapia before. I ain't going to lie. I still took it. I had a video where I was talking about it. Y'all can go back and search for the video. But what I never told y'all was after coming back, when it marinated in the room and I came back, that's when a reality hit me. Damn, you really did that. She was nasty. Jesus. She came straight from school, came to my crib. Now that I'm thinking about it. I don't even know how, how like, I didn't, nah, I didn't know. Ain't no way I could have, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no way. How, how would I have handled that? I guess I could have just stopped. I could have just stopped, bro. I be saying so much on these videos, dog. Because what I really want to... All I'm going to say is, bro, some of y'all in here, if y'all seen her, y'all would have did the same thing. Oh, my God. She fast as heck? Yo, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I was honestly, um, this is good. Let it play one more time. Wow. I was honestly looking at her soccer skills. I didn't realize, um, the, the recoil caught me off guard. Uh, yeah. I didn't realize she was carrying extra balls. That's that's the best way to put it. I was honestly looking at her soccer skills. She's pretty decent at soccer. I just didn't realize she was carrying some spare balls. Uh, mm.